world welcome to decode mania i am sahil and you are watching third video of the project user management system with admin panel in previous video you have seen that how i have designed the user login and registration page now in this video i am going to show you how to create database for this project and also how to connect this project with a database using php ops so first here in this image you can see all the tables that will be used in this project so in this video i am not going to create all the tables i will only create this users table and the rest of the table will be created later whenever required in the project okay so let's start with creating the database so open your php my admin so from here just click on new to create a new database so here in database name i will write db underscore user underscore system okay and just select here utf8 underscore unicode underscore ci okay and click on create so here you can see the database has been created okay now inside this database first i will create a users table okay for storing all the users information like uh, name email password phone etc okay so here just write the table names users and here in number of column just write uh, 15 and click on go okay now here in first column i will keep id and type will be integer and length will be 11 make this column auto increment so just check this ai box and and make this uh, make this id primary key okay so just click on go to make this primary okay now here in second column i will use name and type will be where care and the length will be 100 okay and second and the third column will be for email type will be where care and length will be 255 next column for password and this this will be where care and length 255 next column is for phone where care 20 and gender worker 20 okay and next data but so here i am writing in shortcut dob okay worker 100 and here i will use photo worker 255 and here i will use token and token will be also worker with length 100 and then i will write sorry token underscore expire okay and this will be timestamp okay and next column will be created at created underscore at and again this will be timestamp okay timestamp but uh, here in default i will select current timestamp okay so just click on this and now here in next column i will i will write very file okay and select data type tiny tiny int and by default by default i will select as defined and in value i will use i will use zero 
it means zero means uh, the user is not verified okay so here just write zero and in next column I will use deleted sorry deleted this will be also tiny int and select as defined and here in value I will use one one means user is not deleted by default okay and zero means user is not verified by default okay so this these are all the column names now just click on save so here you can see the users table is created okay now let's open your project just remove this sorry open your project folder and here you can see this is the index.php file and uh, in assets folder i will create another folder uh, php okay so here you can see this css folder is inside assets folder and this php folder is also inside this assets folder okay so i will hide this and inside this php uh, folder i will create a new file okay so just create a new file inside this php folder so here i will keep the file name config.php okay now here i will use php oops concept to uh, make connection to the database okay so for this first first here what i will do is create a new class okay so just write class and class name will be database and inside this class first what i will do is i will i will declare some sorry i will declare some member variable private and dsn dsn means data source network okay so here i will use sorry mysql database okay mysql database and just use colon here and host now host name is localhost so just write localhost here and semicolon and db name db name db name equal to db underscore user underscore system so this is the name of this is the name of our database okay so you have to write the database name here okay now close this statement now create uh, sorry declare another member variable private db user and here just write root and private db pass okay so my database password is nothing so here i have just uh, make this empty and here my database username is root okay now i will declare another member variable public con okay now i will use a constructor method to to connect with the database okay so here i will write public function and double underscore then write construct now i will use try try and catch so here in try i will use this keyword and then i will access this con uh, member variable and inside this member variable i will declare i will call the pdo class okay so pdo and inside this pdo we have to 
pass the dsn and db user and db password okay so here i will use this keyword and here just write dsn comma this keyword and db user comma this and db pass okay close this statement now uh, here in catch so you can write here catch i will use pdo exception here pdo exception and dollar e okay now here i will just echo out the exception okay so here i will use error and here i will concatenate the error message so here i will use dollar e and i will use get message method okay and now what i will do is i will just return sorry return this con member variable now this constructor function will return this con uh, member variable okay so now let's uh, let's write sorry to check is this working or not here i will echo uh, connected sorry connected success fully to the data base okay now save this and create a sorry create an object of this database class okay so here i will create dollar o be equal to new database and no need to call this constructor method because when we create any object of the class then constructor method will be called automatically okay so just save this now go to your browser and here i will access this file config.php file to check whether our connectivity to the database is working or not okay so here i will write assets then slash php then here i will write config.php okay now if i hit enter then here you can see a syntax error un unexpected pdo testing uh, on line number 13 okay so let's come back here and check where is the problem okay so here is the problem i have to use here equal to not arrow operator now save this go to the browser and refresh now here you can see connected successfully to the database it means our uh, code is working fine for connecting uh, for connection to the database okay if you just change anything like uh, just enter wrong database name here and then let's see the exception is working so here you can see uh, unknown database error is showing okay so this is working fine so that's it for this video in next video i will show you how to work on user registration using php oops pdo mysql and age and ajax so thanks for watching this video please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel see you soon in next video